probably thought to yourself, I'm going to drop out of school. You probably threatened to do that, and you haven't. You're not going to drop out of school. You're dro oh, I'm dropping out of school. Oh, I'm dropping out of No, you're not. You're going to have another mental breakdown. You're going to take a power nap. You're going to get a sudden burst of energy at 2 a.m., and you're going to work on your missing assignments, and you're going to turn it in and be the boss you were always meant to be. That's what you're going to do. joined by Jackie. I, I forgot to introduce. This is Jackie. She's 11 years old. She is my kangaroo. Um, yeah, she'll be joining us on these videos. She'll be giving her feedback, um, but yeah, and her input on the video. So, okay, just want to introduce her. So, you could be doing drugs, but you're not. I hope not. If you are, um, um, I hope you're not doing drugs, but most of you are just upset. You're probably in your room crying. You're probably having mental breakdowns every three days uh, because I am. You're not getting your work done. You have 17 missing assignments. You have a test that you haven't studied for that you knew for two weeks, and you haven't even cracked open the textbook. You have not watched any of the lecture videos. It's okay. It's okay because you could be doing drugs. 2020 is the enemy. And we should have known it was going to be the enemy when they were talking about war the third day of the year. And January 3rd was like World War III. You're like, what? What? And we should have marked that. We should have paid attention. We, should, we were like, oh, okay, yeah, wow, that's crazy. And then fires. Australia's burning. See, Jackie, she's very sensitive to talking about Australia. She was in a deep depression for weeks. Somehow we thought it was just gonna get better because after everything, it's like, oh, okay. And then COVID. We're like, oh, okay. Because I don't mean I was downplaying COVID. I was downplaying how severe it would be. I'm like, oh, okay. I just thought extra spring break. No, not extra spring break. I have not seen a college campus since March. I have not really left my house since March. Anyway, back to you could be doing drugs. You could be doing drugs. And like I was saying, 2020 is the enemy. But the enemy what? Comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And guess what? You are amazing. You are awesome. You are a fighter. If you made it this far in the year, you are the real MVP. You are that person you watching this right now Jackie and I are telling this you and let me tell you why because 2020 has not stolen your peace you know why it has not stolen your peace because look at you you're taking six naps a day six naps a day you're eating okay when you're at peace can you eat your stomach's upset Ooh, you can't eat 2020 came to steal your peace and look at you you're living your best life with your 12 missing assignments in your bed. You're on your laptop binge watching Netflix. You could be doing, you see, you could be doing drugs. You could be doing methamphetamine. You're trying to do your skincare routine. You're doing your little face mask. You're probably what, just on Netflix? Watching the same series again and again because it brings you comfort listening to music ignoring all your responsibilities here's my thing you procrastinate because you know the work is gonna get done you know it's gonna get done regardless so i'm not saying procrastinate but i'm saying it's a pandemic of course you're not gonna get your work done when the teachers give it to you first of all they said no syllabus because i kid you not everything on my syllabus for all the syllabi for all my classes uh, it, the teacher said triple that for whatever reason anyway your peace has not been stolen i just t give yourself a break be kinder to yourself jackie is also telling you to be kinder to yourself if you don't listen to me if you don't listen to me listen to jackie does this look like a face that lies i didn't think so i didn't think so anyway now, could have destroyed your joy. 2020 could have easily came and took your joy. 
And I'm not saying you're not depressed because I'm depressed, clinically depressed. But overall, 2020 has not stolen your joy. You know why I know? I know why it hasn't stolen your joy. I'm gonna tell you why. It hasn't completely stolen your joy because you're up at 5 a.m. on TikTok, on Twitter, laughing, dying, crying. Look at you. You're here laughing, living, kicking. When 2020, 2020 is over there in a the corner like, there's no way, there's nothing funny. It's a pandemic, yet you found humor in the midst of it. That does not look like someone whose joy has been stolen to me. You are doing amazing, sweetie. And then lastly, 2020 has not killed you, okay? If you're watching this, that means 2020 hasn't killed you. And look at that, you're not dead. You have an opportunity to grow, to learn, to do things. So okay, this pandemic is not gonna last forever even though it kind of feels like that, but it's not, it's not. There will be a time when we were gonna, we're gonna take our mask off and we're gonna H-Town stomp them into the street. Your professors, tell them to chill, okay? I need everybody to do this. Every college student, med student, law student, every high school student, everybody who's in school watching this, Here's what you need to do. You need to email your professor and say, the work will get done when it gets done. That's what you need to do. Because they are not the ones doing these assignments, but I kid you not, they're the same ones complaining they have to grade all your assignments. Make it make sense. I don't know what gives them the audacity to triple, double, triple the amount of work, because I kid you not, I was never doing this much work when I was in school, I I don't know about you, but be kinder to yourself, be nicer to yourself. You could be doing drugs. You could have quit school. You could have quit school, but here you are, crying about your homework. You know what that shows? Dedication. You know what that shows? Commitment. You're crying over your work? You could be ignoring all your responsibilities probably are if you're you know because if you're like me you know i issues have come up and you you might be ignoring all your responsibilities but listen the work is going to get done when it gets done it'll be there if you have to get an extension get an extension if you have to take some time take some time if you need to take an extra semester do that i know it's not ideal but do it do what you have to do because 2020 is not going to kill you it's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna kill you on Jackie's watch, that's for sure. Oh yeah, failure is an option. Failure is an option, okay? I don't know why people say failure is not, it is. You could say, you know what? I'm not doing that work, I just quit. You probably thought to yourself, I'm gonna drop out of school. You probably threatened to do that, and you haven't. You're not gonna drop out of school. You're just, oh, I'm dropping out of school. Oh, I'm dropping out, no you're not. You're gonna have another mental breakdown. You're gonna take a power nap. You're gonna get a sudden burst of energy at 2 a.m. and you're gonna work on your missing assignments and you're gonna turn it in and be the boss you were always meant to be. That's what you're gonna do. You're talking about some drop out. You're not gonna drop out. You're gonna get your work done. But don't overwhelm yourself. Sometimes you have to just close the laptop and go take a nap. It's not worth it. The work will get done because let me tell you something, sweetie. Let me tell you something, and don't you forget this. You're gonna graduate, and that's on Jackie. You're gonna graduate. You're gonna get your work done. Does she look like she? Does she look like she's lying? Does she look like she's lying? You're gonna graduate. You're gonna work in your dream career. You're gonna look back at this. You're gonna look back at this moment. You're gonna take all your mental breakdowns. Every time you had an anxiety attack, every test. You didn't do well on, but you studied for hours, you studied for days, you went to every extra help, every uh, Zoom, one-on-one uh, -on -one meeting with your professor, every office hour, everything, and you fight failed, and you didn't do well, you flung some assignments, even though you were trying your best. I can get this open. Failure is an option. You could be doing drugs, and you're not. You're just gonna have another three-hour nap in a row for the fourth time today. You're gonna go order Uber Eats. 
you're gonna go after Uber Eats, you're gonna binge watch your favorite Netflix show and you're gonna get the work done because it will get done. It's life. That's what you're doing. You need to be nicer to yourself because if you were to treat someone else the way you treat yourself, wait, hold on. Yeah, if you were to treat someone else the way you treat yourself, you would not be your friend. Jackie and I, we love you guys. We're rooting for you. Thank you.